say exactly who he is, but I know his name and I sense great things, G Pick. Okay. Oh, it's Magister! Magister! <laughs> okay, there we go. No wonder I sense great things. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually surprised they didn't recognize Magister because he's always. So, Magister is actually sneaky good at this game because he has a deal at his art booth every single major, which is. Beat me in a money match, I'll give you one of my prints, and if I beat you, you buy you, it and you gotta tweet buy about one. it. Right? That is a great and model. There are a lot of people tweeting about his art, okay? That's all I'm saying about his skill as a player. He made it to, I believe, ninth place at Don't Park on the Grass. Like, a top eight at a uh, at the first major event for Smash Ultimate, going all Incineroar. Uh, definitely not a player to be slept on. One of the, uh, the hardest people to fight in the Washington area right now. Yeah, I know. When the Incineroar is not working, he can also just opt over to the Villager in his back pocket to smash 4 in main. And really, you're talking about being slept on. This character itself, Incineroar, being slept on by the cast. Yes, he is slow, but he has the, the kit to be a great character. Just you know, Unfortunately, it's on a bad character. And trying to go for all the cheese right there to get that spiking hitbox possibly. Not quite going to do it, but so much damage being racked up on now, G-Pick. I want to point out how, how keen of a sense Magister has for Intimidation, right? Because he just empty jumped towards Foda, knew that that jump would cause him to teleport to the platform, and immediately headed over there to punish it. Now Foda was able to finally answer, but getting clipped up again immediately, getting tossed to the ropes. Foda's going to need to either be throwing out a bit more preemptive hitboxes in order to catch these side Bs as they're coming at him, or more importantly, just find himself away from the ledge and like expecting to bait them, you know? Good neutral air, catching that roll now. Foda just stuck here at the ledge. Unfortunately, didn't get the correct hitbox on that neutral air. Doesn't matter. Getting that grab in the back throw. Suplex him down to the ground. Yeah. Magister having a two-stock lead and looking so in control. Every single time he gets in on Foda, he manages to keep reading his escape options and piling on more and more pain. So, g there was just a key thing I saw in that last neutral exchange from Foda and Magister. Almost the full stage away from one another, and I do not see an auto radical or even an explosive flame coming out from Foda. Luckily enough, he's able to stay onto the stage, but I feel like he needs to go ahead and take advantage of the zoning tools that he has at hand, especially against a character like Incineroar. Yeah, there is there is definitely counterplay that Incineroar has because he can activate his revenge and get revenge stacks off Foda radical. Mm -hmm. But at the very least, you want to bring it to the table so that. Uh, Magister doesn't have the confidence to keep running. You gotta like show it's an option. You, yeah. you don't need to do it every time. You just need to let him know, like, you know what? I can hit this button if I want. Yeah, and at least check to make sure Magister knows how to revenge on it, you know? Otherwise, there's, there's great danger in assuming your opponent knows things that maybe they don't, and you're just letting them win certain exchanges just on the basis of that. But a great explosive flame offstage would have forced Magister into a very terrible line of recovery if you tried to avoid it. Yeah, the Master is still trying to get him with all of these up bears. And there we have a couple of neutralers out from Soto. Quick 22, but you can't escape the forward tilt. Come get this poke. Mm. So it's it's such a media like Zangief-esque poke, right? It's like actually like Zangief light, and it just murders people. In this Man, game. I wish Zangief's light was that strong. <laughs> 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 you know what it actually is? I just realized what it is. It's actually Luigi forward smash. Oh but it's my his God. forward tilt. But it's a forward tilt, yeah. Yeah, like that's that's what the move is. <laughs> just shank you real quick. Oh, that must hurt. He has claws too. Oh, I feel bad for the cast. Oh. And see, at least with Luigi, it's just a hand. Like you're just getting chopped real quick. Yeah, it's like it's a kidney shot, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like a little bit unfortunate. It's an invasion of personal space. But like, yeah, that's permanent damage coming from Incineroar. We're just going to go to stages, trying to figure this one out. Uh, it looks like the bans were... I want to... It's. I, I'm confused why you would ban Smashville, right? Oh, no, no, Smashville was the choice. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming Battle Bit would be off the table. Yeah. I, 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 I would not want to do that again with Hollow Xana. It's. I mean, it's interesting because he did so well. Um, but even so, Foda's choosing Smashville, and I'm actually hesitant about this choice. It all depends on how confident Foda is with his uh, platform cancer teleports, right? Because that could fright him with a lot of dis this. Oh, he's going for FD Smashville? Omega Smashville? Okay. Yeah, I noticed it from the camera. I'm like, wait, what, yeah. what's happening here? No, I was like, where's the platform? <laughs> like, it takes a while for the platform to fly to center yeah. stage, and like, it should be here by now. It's, it's well, never coming, G-Pick. Yeah. It's in another history. Oh, well. I mean, FD against a grappler, it on the one hand, it does 
provide less ways for the, the grappler to get in because he can't play around with like the platforms and stuff for movement. But, but this is essentially what the grappler would want. Yes, because not only when he's in advantage do you have less escapes, but when uh -oh, he wants we got the revenge. He already used it for that forward air, but getting a lot of damage for it too, 100%. And this is what's scary though, is once one of these characters gets caught in the corner, whichever one is more in tune with like the opponent's defense is going to be able to get so much reward. Because the back throw and not enough to take away that stock. But we have Magister setting up here on the Les Backer. Gonna connect and take it away. <laughs> Magister looking comfortable as ever. Just calmly running up and scooping the falling aerial by Foda. Oh, it's gonna be some really nice damage coming off of that down tilt. Down tilt. A combo starter for Incineroar can actually lead to quite a bit at the lower percent. Oh, yeah. It stands at such a beautiful angle, and considering how hard the rest of his kit hits. It is very terrifying to be hit by. Yeah, Foda still just stuck here, trying to get back onto the stage. And great awareness from Magister, understanding, yes, I did get this grab, but I'm not going to hit a button to make sure I get full stage control. Yeah, exactly. He's going to do it again. No, ends up going for the clothesline this time around. Up air, still not enough. Foda really just struggling to get back down onto the stage. He finally does, trying to set up these back airs, but Magister just really in tune with that, waiting for him to push that first button and trying to go for that whiff punish. Catching, like uh, Foda, I like that he's using his back air more often because that is that is a button that uh, even Incineroar has to respect because it has so much priority. It's just that, that invincible shield beating out whatever you're doing. But there's also the issue of just timing it just right to beat out the options because he's being whiff punished now for those back airs. Now, as we talked about a little earlier, G pick down tilt for Incineroar is such a fantastic tool. As we saw on that last stock down tilt leading into the killing blow with the up air. Neutral mm -hmm. air. Piece of damage. Wow. <laughs> Magister already knew it was coming. Immediately went for that revenge. Was ready to go ahead and get beefed up. Oh my gosh. Looking so hungry for the yeah. finisher. Up air still not enough to take that one away. Very surprising. But Explosive Flame will go ahead and take that one away from Foda. But he does find himself down by a whole stock. Here comes the Nair Train, getting a solid three. Does he get the fourth connection? He does, carrying. We're gonna get a fifth? Oh no, oh. he ends up opting for the forward air instead. Oh, explosive Limb, barely off the mark. Very fortunate for Magister. He found himself in a world of hurt for a second there. Oh yeah, Foda had a lot of momentum at that moment, and it looks like he's still kind of riding it. I see a lot more confidence in his movement. He's gonna be caught spot dodging though, and Magister goes for a straight for a jab punish on it. Our photo is kind of just woken up now. This is some play that we did not see in that first game. And right there at the ledge, are you going to lose that stock? Yes, you are. That back throw is quite strong. Yeah. Fortunately, given how huge of a lead Magister had in that second game, finding your stride, uh, you're going to need a lot more than that to take a full three stocks off this guy. Uh, Magister, I'm, I'm really looking forward to what he does here tonight because, like, even in Smash 4, he was a player that was able to like take a set off of Anti and such. Yeah. So being able to see him just continuing to show that like no, like I don't just show up to these events just like this isn't just being a merchant for me, right? This isn't capitalism. I love this game mm -hmm. and I love it so much I'm able to compete and stick with some of the best players. Oh my goodness, can can we get that that step taken care of? I, I almost saw someone drop off these steps. That was unfortunate. Oh, I saw yeah. the I saw the fear in his eyes. He was like, I thought we weren't playing Brawl anymore. Why am I tripping? <laughs> it's not even a banana here. It's terrible. We got a plant. How, this, this plant isn't doing anything. He's not even <laughs> in the game yet. <laughs> he's on commentary. He's, he's assisting us from a moral standpoint. Oh, he's taking a nap right now, yeah. honestly. He, he put in quite a bit of work last night at the pre-Genesis event. So I am... I'm having the most unfortunate uh, brain fart right now because I recognize this is the French uh, Pikachu player who was actually doing great work yesterday. I saw him play up against Super Sega, and I cannot remember his tag. I know it starts with a P. En I think it's Enki. Pekka? Enki. 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 Yeah, Enki. that's what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, fantastic. Fantastic punishes coming out from him, especially in terms of his awareness. The moment... Uh, Super Sega got slightly out of his like safety bounds off stage. He was out there in an instant mm -hmm. and killed him. And like having that level of awareness on uh, on popular meta, meta characters' recoveries, very very powerful stuff. Uh, his opponent is a face I do not recognize though. So I I am curious who we got. I know we're working now towards the later end of these pools, probably now towards like the winter semis or so. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so, you know, we're, we're seeing the slow uh, improvement of gameplay coming uh, out here. And the scary thing is, this is only round one of pools. Yeah. Still have a, a wave round two. Round one's still a killer. Yeah. You never, you cannot sleep on anyone. And we said this before back in Smash 4, but now in Ultimate, you really can't sleep on anyone. Oh, yeah. You know how there was so much com really like, turmoil about the seating, how it worked, people were here, people yeah. were there. You know what? After, after like, 32 or even 25, seating is not 